Welcome to the Progress Reports and Report Cards tutorial, the handy dandy version. Let's start. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure your grades are completely done in your grade book before you try to move your grades over into progress reports or report cards. The first thing you're going to do on your main screen is to click the grade book tab. This will then open up classes and you're going to choose the class that you would like to do report cards or progress reports for. Third, you're going to go to the left tab and click scores. When that opens up, you will see your class grades and you are going to want to use the drop down menu where it says all. You would like to change that to either post columns progress if you're doing progress reports or post columns term if you're doing report cards. You always want to make sure that your trimester is correct. If it's not, you can use the down arrow to change that. Once you get into the new screen, it will show you where you have to populate your data. In order to move your grades from your grade book into progress reports or report cards, you're going to need to click update post columns, update post columns. That will then move your grades into trimester one or depending on the trimester you are on, it will move your grades into trimester one column. You will then need to fill in the remainder of the columns with comments from the master comments list. These are numerical codes that go along with comments and so you'll have to have a list that will help you to do that. You'll enter comment one, comment two, and comment three, all with their numerical codes. And when we are in school, we use the conduct column. When we are remote learning, we do not use the conduct column. It's important to note that for progress reports, a code, an, um, a numerical code is used for conduct. And for report cards, a whole letter grade would be used for the conduct column. So for instance, A, B, C, D, or F. Once your trimester grades are moved over and you have your comments, your numerical comment codes in the columns, and as well as your conduct code if we are in school, you're then going to push the post grades button. Once you press the post grades button, you'll notice that your grades have a red push pin and that will give you the idea that they have been posted. If these are not red, then you have not posted your grades. So make sure you post your grades because that will send it to the office for them to process. Once you have your grades done, many teachers want to keep a hard copy on file. Just in case anything were to happen, you would have all of your report card grades done. Also, some administrators ask you to verify your grades and check them. It's always a good idea to make sure you don't have blank kids, no grades with a kid. So first to print out a hard copy, you're going to go to the reports button. When you click on that, there'll be a drop down menu. You want to choose grade book sheet. Once you choose grade book sheet, a pop up window will show up. You want to change it to portrait. The default is landscape and you will not be happy with the printing results. Choose portrait and then run. And that will run a PDF um, version of your grades that you can then print to the printer of your choice. Good luck doing your grades.